All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about the uh, design, the components of the differential pressure transmitter, and the purpose here of this three valve manifold down here. Um, I don't know if you can see in here, but there is an HP and an LP. The HP is on that side, the LP is on this side. Uh, you can actually see it on the back here if you were to look up. Um, just below this bolt, there's actually, if I get the angle right, there you go, HP and LP. So that tells you which one is the high side port and which one is the low side port. Um, the reason that that's important is because if you put the higher of the two pressures that you're measuring on the high pressure side and the lower of the two pressures on the low pressure side, you will get a positive reading. However, if you have a higher pressure on your low side and a lower pressure on the high side, you will see a negative reading. And so those are situations where we start talking about zero suppression and zero elevation. Elevation being when we have a negative value and we're bringing it up to like our 0% reading. So we'll dig into those a little bit deeper as we get into some level applications that we'll use this DP on. Um, however, today I just really want to focus first here on this module about the different parts of this thing. Um, most of you have hooked one of these up and what we've done is gone ahead and we just closed all the valves down that you didn't need. Well, let's talk about them a little more today and see why they're important. First thing you want to do um, with these valves, if you've got this uh, transmitter fired up, you want to open the left and right valves up all the way and open this center valve up all the way. And what that does is it equalizes pressure between the high side diaphragm and the low side diaphragm. So essentially, if the pressure is the same, both high and low, then the difference in pressure, being a differential pressure transmitter, the difference in pressure with that equalizing valve open is zero. And if you look at the uh, transmitter right here, you can see it's reading 0.0. .0. So that's a good thing. Um, that's definitely where we want to be on a starting point after we've got this instrument installed. Now, once it's installed, um, we're going to go ahead and depending on the application, we may or may not use the low pressure side. If we're trying to measure level in a tank that that tank is, has an open top or vented to atmosphere, <clears throat> then um, what we're going to do with this low side is not hook it to the tank at all. Typically, we'd hook it to the top of the tank. We're actually going to put um, just a screen in here. It's a fitting that has a screen in here, and that allows it to vent to atmosphere. And what that little screen is for is literally to keep stuff out, like everything from dirt and rain and water to bugs. Um, I've seen stuff crawl in there, and it can cause problems as well. So if we vent that to atmosphere, then um, the high side gets connected to the bottom of the vessel, and measures the head pressure. And we've talked about head pressure level uh, before you guys took off on break. So um, that being said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave this low side open to atmosphere. Got to make sure it's open um, so it doesn't change in pressure slightly as weather systems move in and out. Your barometric pressure change. If I had this valve closed, there would be a difference between atmosphere and what's actually inside that chamber. So I want to leave it open. We'll vent it. And then I'll close this equalizing valve down. And what that does is it isolates the high side of the transmitter from the low side of the transmitter. Okay? So that being said now, um, we should be able to hook our pressure source into the high side. And we should be able to see the pressure on this uh, transmitter display um, go up. So let's uh, just give it a couple quick pumps here and we'll see if we can get it to move. Yeah, you can see it already. As soon as I plugged it in, um, it went up to about five inches of water. So just plugging it in created a positive pressure. You can see I put a couple pumps on and we're now up to about 57 inches of water. So um, if I open this equalizing valve right here, it's going to allow a path to the low side. It's actually going to bleed all that pressure out. So watch it go away. See that? So it just bled it right out this port. That's why it's important to keep that valve closed. So that isolation valve 
is really handy when we're working out in a process and we need to isolate uh, anything from the process material coming into this or if we need to get this transmitter set up uh, to get it commissioned.